So you want to learn faster and become a learning Jedi. You've clicked on the right video. What if I told you that there was a neuroscience based method that forced your brain to learn automatically? And what's more, what if it took no more than five minutes out of your day? My name's Samuel, and for the last few years, I've been on a self education journey, been really focusing on teaching myself things through books and courses and just my own experience. Along the way, I've actually also worked and been working as a teacher. And these experiences have made me really think about the question, what is learning and how do we become more effective at it? And one of the big discoveries I've made so far is something that I call the five minute rule. The five minute rule is all about getting clear about the outcome that you want from your learning experience. Before you go into any learning experience, be it reading a book, attending a lecture, practicing a new skill, take five minutes and ask yourself, what is it that I want to learn and what's the result I want to get? What's the tangible outcome that I want to see in my reality? You ask yourself that question and then you generate an answer that is concrete, specific and tangible and measurable. The key here is you got to be specific with it. You got to be specific. We humans, right? We love to think in abstractions. So we say things like, you know, I want to be this great guitar player, or I really want to learn how to be a better speaker. And yet we never clarify to ourselves what we actually mean when we say that, like, what would it actually look like in reality? How would we know if we got it? For example, contrast these two statements. I want to learn to be a better writer with, I want to learn how to write one engaging speech every week. Which of those two statements is more impactful, more powerful? Of course, it's the latter because it's tangible, it's measurable, it's specific. If you tell me that's what you want to learn, I can come to you in three months and I can actually ask if you learned it and you can verify it to me. You can verify whether you learned it or not by showing me the tangible result that you got. Whereas if you just say you want to learn how to write better, it's, it's like super vague. I can't really tell like, okay, what did that actually mean for you? How much like, you know, you see what I mean? The great thing about this rule is that it's universally applicable. For example, this year I've been going downhill skiing more. And I actually started using this rule when uh, going downhill skiing. Nowadays, before I go hit the slopes, I clarify to myself what it is that I'm trying to learn next. What's the new trick that I want to practice at the, at the park? I get clear about that. Maybe it's I want to learn a 360 or a new kind of rail. Whatever it is, I get clear about it. And then I go in with a different mindset. When I'm clear about the thing that I'm trying to learn, automatically my brain goes into the mode of, okay, how do we get this result? So I start looking at people at the park who are doing the trick that I want to do. Maybe I watch some tutorials on YouTube and my brain is constantly processing this, imagining myself doing the trick. All of this helps me automatically learn what I'm trying to learn. Now, from a neuroscientific perspective, the reason this works is because our brains are wired for something called selective attention. This means that we naturally focus on what we consider most important to us and filter out the rest. When we're using the five minute rule to set a clear learning intention, we are basically giving our selective attention directions. It's a bit like tuning a radio to your favorite station. Once you've set it, you've set the station, you can hear the music amidst all the noise. It's the same kind of principle for tuning your selective attention, getting clear about what it is that you want, and then letting the brain do the rest. So there you go. That's the five minute rule. And I urge you to give it a try. The next time you're about to learn something or you intend to learn something, maybe you're picking up a new book, I want you to consider the question, what do I want? What's the result that I want from this? 
take five minutes to clarify to yourself what that is and get specific about it. As specific and concrete and measurable as possible. And then do that, keep doing that, keep practicing thinking that way. The more you're able to think in terms of concrete, specific and tangible, the more success you're going to have with your learning endeavors. Until you learn how to think this way, you're going to keep floating and drifting through life. So it's very important that you get this. If you enjoyed the video and got value out of it, click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for videos about learning and human behavior. If you're interested in getting one-on-one -on -one extra support, I am currently offering coaching sessions for free. These are real proper coaching sessions. If you're interested in that, let me know and we can do a one-on-one -on -one session where we get clear about what it is that you want. We get really crystal clear with the outcome that you want in anything that you're currently trying to learn or master. If you're interested, click the link in the description, schedule a time, and I'll talk to you then.